guys and welcome to Magic Bookshelves. I am at number 13, I think. Yeah. And this is Farah. And I'm Jahaina. And today we have a mix of physical and one ebook. Yeah. So it's pretty late right now. I've been studying and we've been pushing it off, so we're kinda tired. So yeah. I'll have to start it off with your book. Okay. So um the first book I got was Banana Splitsville by Katherine Clark. We read a couple of her books and we we actually really like them. A um, couple of her books are um, So uh, in Love, Icing on the Lake, and Picture Perfect. I've read those three, and they're very um. And I have, yeah. Also read So in Love. There's So in Love. There's Icing on the Lake, right. and I haven't read page. those two. But yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And the second. Book. We kind of ordered two of the same copy by accident. And so we both have Rocky Road Trip by okay. Catherine Clark. And you know, they're such short reads, so... And they're fun. Really fun. I yeah, love this author. Yeah, they're like perfect, like, lazing around. Sour books. Like, you want to go on yeah. trip and you're in the car and you're like... Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can never read in the car, but yeah. And this is Rocky Road Trip is the second book to Banana Splitsville. And the third book, I think it's like Love and Other Things I'm Bad At. But I'm not sure if they're companion novels or if I think um, love and other books I'm bad at is like um is the um, um what do you call it is both of these books together? I think they just republished them as a bind up or something. I'm not sure. So second book is She Smells the Dead by E. J. Stevens. I won this book from um, a giveaway. I can't remember and. It's signed by E.J. Stevens, and um, it's about a girl who actually does not see the dead, but actually smells them. So, haven't read this yet. It sounds interesting. It's a really short read, though. Yeah, but the book is, the book, book, whatever. The book is, like, really wide and long, so, yeah. Bug. <laughs> My next bug is... Funny. 20 Boys Summer by Sarah Uckler. Heart. Yeah, so I've heard good things about this book. I haven't I read it. it. Love I it, love it. it yet. And so I really do want to read it because I have never read any book by Sarah Ockler. And her new book, Bittersweet, just came out, I think, or it's coming out this week or something, and can't wait to get my hands on it. Yeah. So, yay. I love the cover. Okay, Um. second book we got is A Time for Dance, and it is by Dave, Dave Davida Will Harwin. And here it says, what do you do when your best friend is dying? I don't like dying. Okay, so basically it's about these girls. It's their senior year and they're um, um, professional dancers or they want to become professional dancers or something. And one of and the best friend suddenly becomes ill and it turns out it's cancer. So they must learn to accept the unacceptable because her cancer is not going to go away. So it sounds like an interesting book. When I got wow. I just got it for the cover, honestly. It was like dance. I love dance books. So I just got it. I didn't even know it was about cancer until I just read it right now. So, okay. Yeah. Um, Might be interesting sad. and sad. I'm not really looking for sad right now. Neither am I. And the next book I got is How to Take the X Out of Your Ex-Boyfriend. Ooh, cover is adorable. And this book, well, you can totally know it by the title. She has, she gets an ex-boyfriend, and she's trying to get him back. Yeah, basically that. And then it. she meets someone else on the way. On the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yay. Okay. Time to read this one. Next book is a library book, and I got it from my, my library, my university library, and it's called The Roar by Emma Clayton. Uh, when I, I googled it, and it turned out, it's a dystopian, and I love dystopians, and had to get it. It's She's a dystopian person. Yeah, I'm like, that's like my favorite genre right now, so I eat up dystopians. So, it's about 480 pages. What is it about? It's a dystopian. What is it about? Mika lives in future London, behind the wall. Apparently, they're surrounded, they're like, I don't know, man. There's an animal plague or something, and then there's someone who disappeared, and there's a mysterious organization. Basically, a typical dystopian. And Google I love it dystopian. if you want to know. Goodreads it. So, yeah. Goodreads it. Cover is kind of weird, but I like weird when it comes to dystopians. Weird so, is yeah. good. Yeah. Weird is good.
And the last book that I got is His Society by Ailey, Ali Carter. Ailey. Ailey. Alien. Whatever. Alien <laughs> Carter. <laughs> Ali Carter. And we I both read this. Read this book, and I've read the second book in Common Criminals. And I got this book for $1, so totally book cheap. Book closeouts. Yeah, it's like hardback. Totally cheap. So I haven't yeah. read in Common Criminals, though. She did. Yeah, and, and I like Ali Carter's book. There's also the... Um, Gallagher Girl Gal Girl, series. Gallagher Girl series, which are pretty and good. And the book is coming out soon, I think. Yeah, so I'm okay. excited for that. So, another book we got, like, two weeks ago, and for some reason I always keep on forgetting to add it to the And we're part of the block the tour. And uh, we're part of the block tour for, and it is Destiny's Fire by Trisha Wolf. Let me just say one thing. I am so happy they changed the cover. The Same. first cover was just... Hideous. <sighs> yes, hideous. This one is so pretty, and I really like it, and it's basically, um... Actually, this is the old cover, if you're yeah. interested to know. The girl's head is, like, twice or three times the size of her body. I don't know. Maybe because she's wearing black. But anyways, this is the pretty cover. And I like pretty. And it's very pretty. And I read this book. I really liked it. And I'll post my review um, on the blog tour date at our blog, so make sure to check it out. So that's the end of our IMM. Yes, these are all the books that we got, and uh, link us below to uh, your IMM. To your IMMs, and leave comments. We love comments, and um, make sure to um, uh, join our contest since this week is our last week. So yeah, our giveaway. Yeah, our giveaway. Why did I say contest? I'm out no of it. Idea. I'm sorry. So yeah, have a nice day and enjoy the beginning of your week. And today's the last day of my holiday, so. Yeah, my exams are starting next week, so it's all swell. Yay. Okay, enjoy. Bye. Bye.